Hello and welcome to the devotion for Wednesday, October the 16th, entitled, Strength from Character. Now, as I shared Sunday mornings, we talked about drugs and self-medication. And, and we talked about that whenever we lose hope, whenever we lose focus or vision or uh, believe in purpose, that we become more susceptible to self-medication. If we're hurt or angry or tired or miserable or frustrated, those things propel us to self-medicate. When we have strength of character, however, we can even face opposition with great power. As we look at Paul's life, and he uh, talks about perseverance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope doesn't disappoint us. When we look at James, and he said, we even rejoice in our suffering because we know that it produces perseverance, and perseverance produces character. It is character that gives us the ability to thrive. It's the place where we go I have a purpose. I have a direction. That's the reason I said if we're going to ever get uh, out of self-medicating at some point, we can't do it by just grabbing hold of the seat cushion and go, I will not self-medicate. I will not self-medicate. I will not drink. I will not do drugs. I will not eat a gallon of chunky monkey. I will. I will. It's going to come because we have something about our character that drives us forward, that moves us in a place where we go, I have purpose. I have vision for my life. I have direction in where I'm going. I believe that the Spirit of God dwells in me, and I have a destiny before me. That's the reason when people began to find their identity in Christ, when they begin to realize that God loves them, that they have purpose, that they're not just an accident, they're not a biological, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, morphism that just happened to evolve out of uh, some slime in a pool, but that I am created in the image of God. When we begin to see our value, our worth, our character, we begin to see that we have purpose, that we have the image of God born in us, and that we can make a difference in the world. We find the ability to even rise above the areas that are frustrating or hard or difficult, the things that we have to fight through. That's where we could actually make the statement, even our trials make us stronger. Even our hardships give us more vision, more purpose, more character. Now, I love this passage. In 1 Peter 1.5, it says, make every effort to add to your faith goodness. In other words, if I believe that God's there, I am going to look to live my life in a healthy way way. I'm going to strive for that. And to that goodness, knowledge, that I am going to continue to add wisdom to everything that I do. I'm not going to just give up, throw up my hands and quit. And then he goes on and says, to that knowledge, self-control, to go, if this is the wise way, I'm going to stay with it. I'm not going to abandon it. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to throw up my hands. I'm not going to quit. I'm going to stay at this because I know that that perseverance will take me. And so to my self-control, I add perseverance. To that perseverance, godliness. As I begin to press more and more in to the things that God has called me to do, as I persevere in them and go, I may not see the answer right now, but I know this is the correct path. This character will give me the strength to persevere. I will not self-medicate because I know that I am on the right path, that my character, that my vision, that that godliness, that faith that I am laying hold of is going to carry me to a place that is going to give me strength. It's going to give me wisdom. It's going to move me forward. And so what does he say? And on top of that, brotherly kindness, because I need those relationships around me. And to that, we add, uh, and he says, uh, to love. We give eventually just to go, I am going to love. And when we go, he goes, if we possess all of these qualities and let them increase in measure, we will have a life that will, be, that will uh, keep us from being ineffective and unproductive in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our character, seeing it, persevering in it, holding on to it, staying on with it. When we begin to realize who we are, who God has given us the ability to be, who he has borne his nature in, his wisdom has been given to us, and we stop self-medicating and start persevering, pushing on, letting that character guide us, it changes us. It molds us. It makes us into the people who are successful, 
who can move forward, who can overcome, who can move forward. So it's not just sitting in a chair, white knuckled, hanging on, going, I won't, I won't, I won't. We've got to get to the place to where we say, I am who God created me to be. I am more than an overcomer. I am able to survive and thrive even in the midst of adversity. I know that God's spirit dwells within me and I am moving forward. Let me pray for you. Father, I just ask that you would help us to gain the understanding that I, that you have given us your spirit, that we are not junk, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, that you have placed your spirit in us, and that as we develop our character, as we hold on and persevere and move forward and find your strength, that we will develop everything that we need to even oversee adversity, to even overcome struggle and hardship, that we don't have to quit, that we don't have to self-medicate, that we can be effective. But Lord, we need a group around us. We need people encouraging. We need people that we can team and partner with. Lord, let us be that group of people. Let the community of faith, especially the community of faith at God, why? Our 100% groups, our times of corporate gathering, our men's retreat coming up. Lord, let it be time that we spur one another on toward the character that you have called us to possess. And as we begin to see your character in our lives, that we will hold fast, push forward, persevere, and see the final product. God, do that in us as we follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, character will carry you the whole way. Let godly character carry you. And I'll see you tomorrow.